Hey, Christy here from Lemon Crafty Fiber Arts. Today I'm going to show you how to make my Sweet Delight hat. The Sweet Delight hat is made with number five bulky yarn. Um, I'm particularly using the yarn from Michaels. It's Loops and Threads Charisma. I know many of you are familiar with that yarn. I am using a, a large boy loom, the extra large boy loom, which is um, 40 pegs. And this hat can be made with a number five bulky. You can make it on a five-eighths gauge or a half gauge. If you want your stitches a little closer, you can make it on a hat and be a little bit tighter. This is going to make it a little lacier looking, a little more, just a little more open. So if you don't like that look and you're wanting it um, a little bit denser, you would need to make it on a half gauge. Now, also, it needs to be made on a loom with even pegs. Um, that's a requirement. It has to be even pegs. So if you don't have a large loom, but you have an adjustable loom where you can, you know, you have um, ends like the all-in-one, for instance, from KB, you could use that too and slide in your ends and count out your even peg number for whatever hat size you want to make it. This could be made in a child to adult. So, you know, it's very versatile. You also can use any weight of yarn, any gauge of loom if you want. If you wanted to do one in a, a number four worsted, you can make it in a worsted, like on, for instance, a half or a three-eighths gauge, and on, 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 you know. So it's up to you, whatever you want to make this uh, hat on. But I picked the bulky because I know a lot of you like bulky yarn. So if you want to make this particular hat and use this particular yarn, the brim part is made of this really pretty light pink um, shade of Charisma. And it is called Blossom. And it's 109 yards. It's Charisma Sorbet Loops and Threads. And the body is made from this really pretty uh, Charisma Tweed Hues. It's also 109 yards. And the color is Rose Garden. So that's the yarn that I'm using for this particular hat that's like the same yarn I used in the picture I showed you. So I have picked um, a cast on, and this video will take a little more time than usual because it is a loom along, and it will be in two parts. The second part will air um, Monday, I'm going to say the 14th, October 14th, I'm going to say around 6 p.m. So I picked my cast on, you are free to do whatever cast on you want. Um, everybody has their favorites, and with this hat, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't do an E-wrap, but, um, you know, this is a garter, which is one row E-wraps and one row pearls. Or you could do a crochet or a, you know, whatever, whatever you chain, whatever cast on is your favorite. So the first row um, is a pearl over. And most pearl overs you see are done with the yarn laying across a flat knit or a knit, um, one or the other. They're two different stitches, but one or the other is usually used. Uh, I usually do mine with an E-wrap. So I'm going to show you real quick. If you've never done a pearl over with an E-wrap, you come from your 40 peg here or whatever your last peg is. You're getting ready to wrap around your peg one. So you're coming around the back. And you're wrapping around the front and then back around and that's your e-wrap okay just like that looks like a little e then you scoop up from the bottom with your hook grab the yarn on top you pull it down and make a new loop then you flip that loop over your peg just like that and then snug it up just a little bit not much just a little just want to slightly hug that peg. If you get it too tight, it's hard to pull your loops over your second row. So let's do that one more time. Around the E-wrap, scoop up from the bottom, pull that loop down, just like that. Flip the loop back over the peg, back side, just like that. Okay, then take your working yarn and snug it up just a little bit, okay? So now we're going to do purlovers the whole first row. When I finish that, 
I'll catch up with you. Now that we have our first row of purl row overs done after we did our cast on, we're going to go to row two. So row one is all purl overs. Row two is wrap two, just like a big old E wrap. So you're coming from your last peg. You're going around the back side of peg one and two, just like that. Coming around the front and then back around toward the back. And you're going to knit those off, just like so. Okay. Then you're going to take your working yarn. It's sitting here on peg one. You're going to lay it between peg one and peg two facing you and you're going to purl peg two just like that so we're working in two peg pairs one two three four five six that's the way we're working so now our working yarn is coming from peg two one two we're going to be working with three and four so we're coming from behind peg two we're going to wrap around three and four the back side Bring it back around the front, just like that, and knit them off. And we're going to take our working yarn. It's now coming from peg three. We're going to purl the second peg in our two pair set. Remember, one, two, three, four. This will be the second peg in this pair set. And purl it. Just like that. So I'm going to do one more set without talking. Just like that. Okay. Now you might say, what if I'm right-handed? If you're right-handed, let's just say we're coming from behind this one. We're going to wrap these two pegs like this, we would knit them off, and then you would pull your yarn through, and you would purl this peg, because this would be one, two, this would be your second peg going to the right. So that's how you do it if you're right-handed. So I'm going to continue to do this, and I'm going to come back. Um, d do this for the length that you want your brim to be. If you want it two inches, one inch, three inches, However width wide um, and length, well not width, but width length, however long you want your brim to be, do one row purl overs, one row wrap and two, purl in the second peg. That's what a good part of the brim is going to be. So I would say not go over three inches. Um, I'm going to do mine however wide I want it, and then I'll come back and show you the next part. Okay? Be back in a little bit. Okay, I have done as far as the brim, the rice rib stitch that I want to go. I decided to make mine shorter. I did it's about one and a half inches. I measured it and this measuring a little while ago it did. Maybe it's about one and a quarter. One and a quarter inches. So a little over one and a quarter. Now, you could definitely go further if you want to. You could do two or three. It's up to you. The next stitch we're going to start um, is part of the body, but it also kind of looks like it's part of the brim. You can look at it either way. So, to start that, we're going to do, let me see my picture here so I can refer back. So, we have went up so far with our rice rib, which is what this is at the bottom going up, and now we're going to start this little section right here, which is six sets or, I mean, excuse me, three sets or six rows, and that's nothing but garter stitch. So you would do one row e-wrap, one row pearls, and I'm going to show you in case I've got some new people here, or fairly new to looming, and you want to know. But if you want to skip ahead, that's fine. So if you're familiar with e-wrap and pearls to do garter stitch rows, sets, uh, ridge sets, 
then that would be three sets or six rows. So you do one row ERAP Pearl, another row ERAP Pearl, and another row ERAP Pearl. So be, that would be three sets. Okay, so I'm going to show you, and like I said, if you've already familiar with garter stitch and that type of thing, then you can move ahead. The next video will come out October, um, as I mentioned, the 14th, around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we will finish the body and bind it off, okay? So that way, it'll give anybody a few days, if they want to loom along with me, to catch up and take their time with it. This is fairly a, a fast hat. It's not going to take long to make it at all. You could easily make it in a day if you had the time to sit down and spend to make it. So we will do this real quick and then mon uh, yeah, Monday the 14th we will finish this and bind it off. Okay? Okay, so for those of you that have not done a garter stitch before and this is the stitch that I used um, for my cast on so if you want to use it for your cast on this will give you an understanding so to do a garter stitch like I mentioned you do one row e wraps you come in from your last peg here number 40 you'll be going around number one you'll be doing an e wrap like I showed you before and then you just knit it off okay so now you're coming from behind peg one. We'll e wrap around peg two, around the front, and knit it off. And I'll do a couple more. I don't like to leave my beginners out or because I want them to feel like they could do this successfully too if they wanted to. If they've already mastered knits and pearls or if they're just trying out knits and pearls okay so i'm gonna do my e-wrap row all the way around and i'll catch up with you in just a second i have finished all my e-wraps all the way around and now we're going to do pearls so the second row of a garter ridge is all pearls so to do a pearl you're coming from peg 40 you're going to go to peg one you're going to hold your yarn, your working yarn, below your loop, your existing loop. You're going to scoop down from the top of that loop, pick that bottom loop up, just like that, make a new loop. Then you're going to take that old loop off, push it behind the peg, put the new loop back on, and snug it up. That's all a purl stitch is. So let's do another one. You're coming from peg one now. Working yarn below your loop on peg two. Scoop down. Pull your working yarn up to create a new loop. Take your old loop right there off your peg. Hold on to your new loop. Push it back behind that peg. Put the new loop back on and snug it up. Okay? That's all there is to a purl. A lot of new people avoid pearls because they look difficult, but they're really not. I know I did too. I understand. I did too when I first started learning. I, I, pearls intimidated me, but they're not hard. Um, and I hope this clarifies it for you. So do that all the way around the loom. Another, uh, do the row of pearls. Then when you get back here, you do another row of e-wrap, and then you do another row of pearls. Then you do another row of e-wrap, another row of, per row of pearls. So that's your three sets of garter ridge. So it'll be six rows, three sets. And I will be back with you October 14th around 6 p.m. And we will finish this hat up. Have fun and have a great day wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.